Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the video useful, please subscribe to the channel. In this video, we'll solve this problem using the concepts of parabola. As per the problem, identify the type of conic section and find its foci and vertices. We have to identify the conic section from the given equation. The given equation is x squared equals y plus 1. In this equation, the square is on x. There is no square on y. That means this equation represents a parabola. It doesn't represent a hyperbola, an ellipse, or a circle because in these three conic sections, the square is on both x and y. This is an important concept we need to understand and memorize. Now we can use the properties of a parabola. As you may know, a parabola has one vertex and one focus. So we have to find the coordinates of the vertex and focus of this parabola. In this parabola, the square is on the x, not on y. That means this parabola opens in the upward or downward direction. It does not open in the sideways direction. We can use the equation of a parabola in conic form to find its focus and vertex. For a parabola that opens in the upward or downward direction, the general equation in conic form is We can compare this general equation and the given equation to find the values of h, k, and p. We can write the given equation in conic form as x minus 0 square because the square is just on x, there is no number with x. We put y plus 1 in parentheses. Now we can compare the general equation with this equation to find the values of h, k, and p. As we can see, h is equal to 0. k is equal to negative 1. Because y plus 1 can also be written as y minus negative 1. Since there is a negative sign in the general equation, k becomes equal to negative 1. Next, we can find the value of p. The coefficient of the expression y plus 1 is 1. There is an invisible 1 outside the parentheses. Therefore, 4p is equal to 1. We can use this equation to find the value of p. We can divide both sides by 4. So p is equal to 1 over 4. Since p has a positive value, that means this parabola opens in the upward direction. Now we can use this analysis. The vertex of the parabola is h comma k. We know h is equal to 0, k is equal to negative 1. So the vertex of this parabola is 0, negative 1. Now we can find its focus. The setup for focus of a parabola that opens in the upward direction is h, comma, k plus p. h is equal to 0, k is negative 1, and p is 1 over 4. We can combine negative 1 and 1 over 4 by finding a common denominator. The denominator of negative 1 is 1. The common denominator is 4. So it becomes negative 4 over 4 plus 1 over 4, which is equal to negative 3 over 4. So the focus point is 0, comma, negative 3 over 4. We can also use all of this analysis to find the directrix of this parabola. Even though we do not have to find the directrix for this parabola, I can show you the steps for it.
this parabola opens in the upward direction. That means the directrix of this parabola is a horizontal line and it is placed below the vertex of the parabola. The general equation of the directrix of a parabola that opens in the upward direction is y equals k minus p. We can sub in the values k is negative 1, p is 1 over 4. We can combine these numbers by finding a common denominator. The denominator of negative 1 is 1, the common denominator is 4. So we get negative 4 over 4 minus 1 over 4, which is equal to negative 5 over 4. This is the equation of the directrix of this parabola. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.